Hello there, today I'm going to show you the ideal render settings, or at least the render settings I use for YouTube to make my videos look crisp and clean so they're not all blurry. So first I select the YouTube preset because if you just, if in the past I've accidentally just done a custom and um <laughs> it, it it may have taken 60 gigabytes of storage so yeah <laughs> when the video should have only been 500 megabytes so select youtube i do 1080p just because these are actually this video here is actually recorded in 720 but i just scaled it up to 1080 then you know this is all fine check all that stuff um, so then your format. Personally, I use QuickTime, but you can use MP4, which I didn't actually realize I had in here, but I still use QuickTime. Um, and then uh, my codec, I also use H.264. Um, but if you do use MP4, that will upload to YouTube slightly faster. Um, then you see here we have 1080p resolution stuff. Leave that generally it's fine, but if you do have a 4K video, make sure you scale it up to 4K. So, then your frame rate, that should be at 60 or whatever frame rate your videos are at. Then your quality here. In the past I've had issues with my videos being blurry like this one. I actually just had to re-render because it was blurry in the background because I forgot to set this up. So, if you're low on storage, do not turn the setting up. Um, but if you don't, if you have more than enough storage, definitely feel free to turn this up. I generally do 25,000, but in the past I've, I've really had issues with it and I've had to go up to 30,000. So it, it's up to you. So your encoding profile, I generally will do high just because it's a higher quality. Um, I leave my keyframes on automatic because, you know, and then I leave all this stuff. I leave that and yeah. Um, your audio, it's generally fine. Change it whatever you change it to whatever you need. Um, then your file, um, if you're going to use your computer at the same time, I recommend setting it down to 75% usage or 50 speed. So yeah, but also if you have a really low end graphics card, like mine is a medium range, I would say mid range. Um, I've experienced higher quality if I actually slow down the render speed. So, yeah. <laughs> because DaVinci Resolve is a very graphics card intensive software, especially if you're color correcting. So if I'm color correcting or really just doing a really nice looking video, I'll generally slow this down a bit um, to like 75 or 50. It's up to you. Just depends on how much you're doing then you can just change your name to whatever you want. I recommend using these settings. However, feel free to leave your settings in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.